The Port Huron Sports Hall of Fame was uh, founded in 1976, and the first inaugural class was inducted in 1977. If you think about that, that's a long time of Port Huron history to choose athletes. In that first class, there were some really outstanding, tremendous people. People like Brick Fowler, some uh, people who may remember names like that. Uh, Tubby Myers, uh, Frank Sicori, uh, Brownie Springer. And there was a golfer in that group, and that golfer was Fred L. Reagan Sr., affectionately known as Pop Reagan. Mr. Reagan uh, was the president of Mueller Brass uh, and uh, a very well-known uh, golfer uh, both nationally uh, and locally. He was referred to Mr. Golf in Port Huron for his many contributions <coughs> to both the sport and the community. The one thing that Mr. Mr. Reagan really prided himself on was the fact that, that he had won the club championship at Port Huron Golf Club for 11 times uh, during his career. Uh, that time span when he won those happened in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. And that record has stood for over 50 years until it was broken by our next inductee, Marcus Schultz. Marcus won his first club championship at Port Huron Golf Club in 1982 at the age of 22. Uh, he went on to win the Quarry Golf Club Championship 13 times between 1982 and 2007. That 13 wins was a new club record, and in setting it, he accomplished something that many, many talented, outstanding golfers had not been able to do. Marcus had an outstanding career in amateur golf at both the collegiate and amateur level. Uh, he was the number one player at SC4 uh, for two years. Uh, in addition to championships at PHGC, he's won numerous club championships in different clubs around the country. He competed in multiple Golf Association of Michigan tournaments and several Michigan PGA Opens. At the age of 49, he qualified at number one for the Michigan Amateur. One of his proudest moments came in 1991 when he teamed with his father, Ginner Schultz, uh, to win the GAM Father-Son Tournament. Quite an accomplishment. Following a distinguished amateur career, Marcus coached golf at St. Clair County Community College where he jokingly says, and I think I've got this right, I helped to train my competition. <laughs> If there's anybody in this room who understands the game of golf and knows Marcus, they know who I'm talking about. In the process, he helped establish the Skippers as a state powerhouse. In 2001, the college inducted Marcus into the Skippers uh, Sports Hall of Fame for his contribution as both a player and a coach. Much like Mr. Reagan, uh, Marcus established himself as one of the premier golfers in the area and of his time. But also, like Mr. Reagan, Marcus has given much to our community. The next time you see McDonald's written on a youth, on the back of a youth sports jersey, or you see an ad in a nonprofit uh, program like ours here tonight, uh, know that Marcus was probably behind it. So, with that, uh, it's my deepest honor to uh, welcome uh, Marcus Schultz to this year's. Uh, Port Huron Sports Hall of Fame. And if there's any, Marcus Schultz, Patty's the line to have you on a journey. Please work on you, and you're more than I know he's got a couple. Oh, Thank you very much, Bob. Uh, one thing I really was am honored and, and humbled and, and very proud to receive this award. It's the last thing I had on my mind, as I'll say in a minute. Uh, 
I'd like to congratulate all the other inductees over the years and all the ones that were inducted tonight. Uh, back when, about 35 years ago, there were two things that you know I, I never thought I'd be doing. One, like Bob said, is you know, I never thought I'd be training the competition. Not only the, the ones I coached, but the one in my house. <laughs> he's, he's done quite a job too, so I'm very proud of that, but I never thought I'd be training him, and uh, I never thought I'd be up here giving a speech 35 years later. I want to thank the committee for all their hard work and that, that they've done and uh, continue to do. I'd like to thank my father, Gunnar Schultz, who uh, introduced me to the game and um, provided just a ton of memories uh, with our family. And, and I, miss, I miss the man. Uh, coaches, uh, Bill Comp, we call him El Campo. He's my high school coach. Uh, Sam Cromer, um, another one of my coaches uh, through the years. And then mainly my swing coach, uh, Jim St. Germain, who's also passed. But um, he, he had a real big influence, I know, on my golf game, as well as Joel's. Uh, pros, I've, I'd like to thank all the different pros that I've dealt with over the years. That's quite a bit of them. Uh, but especially the ones here in town, Joel Petey, been a close friend of mine my whole life, and uh, one of my teaching pros, and, and Bill Metter was the other coach I had way back when, so. I'd like to thank all my friends, my competitors, and supporters for all the great memories over the years as well. Met a lot of uh, competitors who, you know, you kind of stare them down a little bit. And, I mean, it's, you want to beat them, but then down the road you end up being good friends with them too, so. By the way, that was one of the hardest things I ever did was staring down the competition and seeing my son at the other end. So that was a little bit different, but 